right, you guys, probably long overdue, but I wanna do a quick video on hang power cleans. So with either dumbbells or plates, today's I'm going to use dumbbells. So for the hang power clean, you want your feet about hip width. So the same foot position that you would use to deadlift or pull any weight off the ground. Now for most of you guys, it's a more narrow stance than what you think. Okay, so my feet are about here. Hey, really if you grabbed your dumbbell, your dumbbell fits almost in between, so that's a good reference. Hey, so feet hip width apart, toes pointed straight. Hey, and so to set up the rest of our body, standing straight up, our shoulders are gonna be squeezed in the back, our chest is gonna be up, our abs are pulled in, Hey, and if you think about kind of screwing in your feet, so if your feet were in sand, you press down and out to kind of screw them in. This automatically will tighten up your hamstrings and your glutes and your quads, hey, to prepare to push those hips through. So that's our body position. Whenever we're doing a hang position, that means that we start the lift from anywhere above the knee. <clears throat> so, to get into the hang position, you always want to do a full deadlift before you go down. So what this means, hey, okay, is I'm going to grab my weights, I'm going to stand up. Okay, so I get set for this lift from the standing position. Shoulders back, chest up, abs tight. Think about if you were going to get gut punched, your abs want to be engaged. Hey, okay, lower that weight to the top of the knee and then just stand back up. Dip down and stand. So keeping your back straight, your shoulders squeeze, your abs engage, you're here and then back up. Here, using those glutes, hey, and your hamstrings, you're gonna stand pushing your hips through. That is the motion, hey, from here, okay? So that's the deadlift. Now we're gonna pop open the hips, hey, and shrug. Hips come through like we just did, so lower to the hang position, hips through, and then shrug. Lower, hips through, and then shrug. Hips through, and shrug. So see that's not like slow-mo, okay? If you do it slow-mo, essentially you're just gonna do a hang deadlift and then a reverse curl. We want to use the power of our hips, our larger muscle groups, right, which is good for fat burning, and use the power of that to drive the weight up. From there, we shrug up, and then you can bring those weights to your shoulders. So hang, hips come through, we shrug up, and then weights to our shoulders. You can come up onto your toes at the top, hang, and back up. Hang, shrug, and back up. Let me show you the side. Hang, and back up. Now. If you have a light weight, that makes sense. We call that actually a hang muscle clean. So to do a power clean, now I'm gonna add a jump. So my hips are gonna come through, I'm gonna shrug, then I'm gonna pop those feet out and catch in a squat stance with soft knees underneath those weights. Okay, so I'm here, hips come through, shrug, catch in a quarter squat and stand, okay? Dip down, shrug, catch, and stand. Reset, always reset. Feet come back into your power position. Check your shoulders, check your chest. Abs pulled in, lower, and clean, and stand. Okay, dip down, clean, and stand. And that, folks, is the hang power clean. Same thing if you have small change plates. Hey, and you can even do them with a single dumbbell um, or a kettlebell, I mean, too, if that's all you have. Sandbag, backpack, same form. Hey, start with the deadlift. Make sure your feet are, are in at your power position. Hey, and then lower each time to that clean. All right, you guys, hope that helps. We'll see you soon.